Connecting pretty much any hardware to Blink is easy. This video shows how Blink handles the hard parts for you. We'll cover two key things. The different connection methods available, and one simple example to get your device online in minutes. Now, let's start with adding new device. Blink works over Wi-Fi, cellular, Ethernet, LoRaWAN, and satellite. If you are familiar with MQTT or HTTP, you can use these or opt for a real-time Blink protocol. Blink also integrates with platforms like AWS, TTI, and others, so you can bring in devices from other clouds and use all of Blink's features with them. Blink supports hundreds of microcontrollers and development boards, off-the-shelf or custom, using whatever tech stack you are comfortable with, C++, Python, MicroPython, Zephyr, ESP, IDF, and more. Just start searching by any keyword and we will provide you with best path to get your device online. Let's say you picked ESP32 with Wi-Fi provisioning. You'll get a blueprint with detailed instructions. Each blueprint is a complete starter pack that includes a ready-to-use firmware, a pre-configured product template, mobile and web dashboards UI, and a step-by-step -step tutorial. Just follow the steps that may start with flashing the firmware. Once you flash the firmware, you can connect your device using Blink Mobile Client for iOS and Android. When all steps are complete, it'll show up in your device list on Blink platform, fully configured and online. From there, you can track data, interact with widgets, set up automations, add new functionality, push firmware updates over the air, and provision more devices using the same template as your project grows. Let's recap. Blink makes it easy to connect your hardware, no matter the stack. Filter by board, protocol, or language, or use search to quickly find the connection method that best fits your setup. For more, explore our docs and blueprint library.